And Chief Meteorologist David Carnes is going to tell us more about all of that as yep. it continues to move. It's not going to miss yep. Tennessee. No, it's not going to miss Tennessee. As a matter of fact, the remnants are going to go right through possibly the Chattanooga area, but definitely right through Tennessee, impacting us big time. As you know, just real quick temperatures, not quite in the 90s, 70s, even the 60s, Lafayette, some rain cooled air, air coming in behind that front looking good. Well, so here are the basic impacts that we can expect Wednesday today through Friday morning, uh, all told about three to six inches of rain widespread East of Chattanooga up toward the Blue Ridge Mountain, six to 10 inches of rain. Of course, flooding is going to be an issue uh, along creek streams, low lying areas. Even homes could be uh, potentially at risk in some of those low lying areas. Winds Thursday night through Friday. That's when we will see our strongest winds developing 15 to 25 mile per hour winds with gusts above 50 miles per hour, especially in the higher elevations. And some of the impacts, of course, down trees, power outages, flooded homes are all possible impacts with the kind of rainfall totals that we're talking. Well, let's take a look. We're going to show you both models, the American, the European, uh, ramping down a little bit. The Tennessee Valley rainfall amounts still going to call it three to six inches, but it's east of Chattanooga where we're already seeing some of the higher rainfall amounts beginning to build up, but we're expecting through Friday morning, six to 10 inches of rain and the European model somewhat coming into line with that as well. You can see that three to six inches here, six to 10 inches here, and I think that's a pretty good bet. You can see some of that heavier rainfall right now east of us beginning to work its way north into Blue Ridge, LJ, working its way into Murphy. Not much of anything Chattanooga westward, but we will see all of this working its way into our area as we move through the day on Thursday. So be ready for that. But for now, it is all east of us, and that is where it is going to continue to train for the next several hours. Future cast will start uh, as we move through the night tonight. Uh, this is eight o'clock spotty showers here and there. Still seeing that heaviest rainfall off to the east as late as 10 11 o'clock tonight. We'll have some spotty showers overnight. You can see that front just stationary over us, keeping the heaviest train of rainfall coming in east of Chattanooga right through the overnight and into Thursday morning. With that said, don't rule out a few spotty showers along that boundary over the Tennessee Valley. And then notice that front begins to retreat to the west a little bit, allowing some of this rain to push into Chattanooga as we move through the morning hours of our Thursday. Fairly rainy across the Tennessee Valley lunch through the afternoon, and then those rains are going to continue five o'clock heavy at times right on through Thursday evening, Thursday night, late Thursday night and into Friday morning. Now notice this is 3 a.m. on Friday morning. And as we continue to move through, notice the winds are really starting to pick up late Thursday night into Friday morning. That's when we'll see those winds blowing out of the north and northeast. And here comes the remnants of Helene pushing through seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we start to see that rain. I don't want to say completely tapering off, but the heaviest rain will be to our north and out of the picture with some spotty showers through the rest of the day on Friday. Notice the wind shifting now coming more out of the south and southeast rather than the northeast, but still blowing pretty strong through the day on Friday. So be ready for it all as we make our way through. Quick look at our storm alert seven day forecast where you're going to see uh, flooding likely storm alert weather day Thursday, Friday, 100% chance of rain Thursday, overnight Thursday, and then I'll put a 60% chance Friday morning tapering off to I'd say a 20% chance Friday afternoon. It will be windy with potentially damaging wind gusts Thursday night into Friday morning. And then the remnants of that system yeah, it could still bring us some scattered showers over the weekend. Highs in the 70s, only 80 on Saturday, only a 20% chance of rain Monday and Tuesday. But what we're living for is the middle of the week. No chances of rain. Highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s. A lot to look forward to, but a lot to go through before we get there, guys.